Hello and welcome to my Prometheus Review. Now, I'm not going to review this as an alien prequel, honestly, so just getting that out there. Prometheus is a film about the ship Prometheus going to a distant planet where they believe our creators originated. And they find a virus that tries to kill everyone on their ship. Let me get into just the first scene in this film. It was up my alley. I just knew this was going to be up my alley. I mean, it was just, it was me. I love these sci-fi films, and I loved this movie. Let me get into the acting. Charlie Spearman, she is definitely the second best actor. She does a very good job with her role. Very believable. And I like her at times. Even though she can read your face, she is cool at times. But the one who stole the show, Michael Fassbender, is David Eight, man. He holds my favorite scene in the movie, my favorite actor in the movie, and my favorite character in the movie. He was phenomenal in that role. I mean, the first scene you see him, it's just so awesome. You're wondering, what is this? Why is this guy like this? You know, but I knew he was a, you know, cyborg to begin with, so it wasn't a surprise to me. But I can think of the people in the theater, they must have been mind boggled. I mean, I was mind boggled even though I knew what it was. I loved the pacing in this film. The pacing, I was never bored. I was always interested. It always made me think. It was perfect. It wasn't just entertaining. It made you think. Not to mention, Waddle Hill produced this movie. I just want to get this out there. Waddle Hill, he directed The Warriors, and I was, I didn't know he was going to produce this movie. I thought that was cool. Ridley Scott does a great job of leading his actors to give very good performances. There were a few who were the weak links, but yeah, they're still pretty good actors. I really, really loved the visuals in this film. The visuals in this film, they were, oh, they were so great. They were superb, the visuals in this film. The visuals in this film were superb. And I do have to get into a few flaws. There is this one thing that's like Sharktopus Jr. But honestly, I was having such a great time with the film, I honestly did not care, but I need to get that out there. And it's a very basic plot, you know. The infection, people get, you know, alienized, I guess you could say. But Prometheus does such a good job of making it so rich and new, and I love that. Ridley Scott did a great job with that. Not to mention, they have very, you know, logical explanations for stuff going on. Like, uh, Michael Fassbend or David Eight. Like, you know, there were scenes where he'll... Like, I, I can't spoil it. I can't spoil it. I was about to spoil it. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> you're gonna have to see it for yourself. And not to mention, this does flow in the alien, and I really like, because they showed how the aliens are made, and I really enjoy that. It's really, really cool. And yes, there are some throwbacks to the old aliens, but I'm not going to get into that, because that would be considered a spoiler. And I understand that some people might not like this as much as I did, because, you know, it's all, you know, they're all flaws, but this is right up my alley, making me love this film. And, like, I want to see it with some family members. A few of them said it was boring. Colin, I saw it with him, and he loved it, just like me. Because it was just right up our alley, and Ridley Scott does great cinema, does great cinematography in this film. It's very, it's edited very well. I never feel like things are too abrupt. I really like that. And I mean, oh, uh, the final fight, I think it's actually really cool, because, oh, the set design. The set design in this film is phenomenal. I mean, but the best thing about this is it's so intense. Because for me, the scariest thing that can ever happen is what could happen. What actually could happen to these people. I mean, it just lets the imagination run wild of worst case scenarios. And I love that they played their strength there. So in the end, I honestly, because of the reviews, that it was still good. I thought I was going to give it, you know, good time even after the play. But no, I give it. Insta Club.